Many high school graduates or those of you headed to your senior year may still be trying to pick a college. There are a lot of things to consider, including one thing that's often overlooked. And to talk about that, architect David Porter is here today. He is an expert on something called social architecture. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks, Mary. The first thing we want to know, what is social architecture? Well, social architecture, when I go to a campus, I intentionally look how to organize a dining program mm -hmm. to really encourage students to come together to maximize social engagement opportunities, to really have socially rich experiences. And when they, we do that, it really makes more, for a more successful department and university. One example that you point out is how a college dining hall can affect even a student's GPA. Is that yeah, right? Absolutely. Recently, the CFO at Texas Tech said that students who live on their campus and dine on their campus have higher graduation rates and higher GPAs than students who live off campus. So the stats are irrefutable. And students, when they come together and they study together and they connect, they just have a better opportunity to succeed. And you say there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. Um, give us an example of what students should be looking for. What could help them socially? Sure. Well, I talk about it in my book, The Porter Principles, where we talk about how we go about the business of organizing dining programs to come together. And so when students get onto campus and they want to dine together and hang out together and socialize together, it's important that the dining program permits them to do just that. Mm -hmm. Students live on a different clock than the rest of us, probably you or me. <laughs> and so when they want to go and dine together, the program really has to accommodate that and that's what we do when we go to campus we create those programs and and colleges consult with your firm because they're very serious about this they want to build the social I guess life on campus for new students well it, it, they really do and on my website pkcdavid.com we talk a lot about that but when we go to a campus it affects recruitment retention uh, the percentage of students that return as sophomores that's a big deal for a lot of campuses and graduation rates and alumni it makes for a more engaged alumni in the long run so the, the student the campuses are really taking notice of this. What else should families consider when they're thinking about picking the right college for their child? Well, when you look at those dining programs and you go to visit a campus, and when mom or dad goes with their son or daughter, they go to visit a campus, certainly the dining hall might not be the first stop, but it probably could be the last stop, mm -hmm. and it needs to make a great impression. And social energy and a contemporary facility make for a great positive impression. As a matter of fact, Anthony Palmer, who gave the senior graduation address at Gettysburg College recently, it's on, it's on YouTube, he talked about how it influenced his decision to go there, how it optimized friendships, and he made great friendships when they went to dine together in the dining hall there, and how it's really going to affect a last a lifetime. So the relationships we make at school will last a lifetime. Why do you think this one aspect of picking a college is so overlooked? Well, that's a great question, because a lot of colleges are looking, you know, they renovate recreation centers, right. student unions, housing, and so forth. And I just don't think people can appreciate, or a lot of decision makers on a campus, how powerful it is. I think it's the single most powerful tool to bring people together on a daily basis. I mean, think of Facebook. It's got 900 million plus users, but nobody would give Facebook credit for creating the need in each one of us to connect. I think Mother Teresa even said that the love, uh, the hunger for love and affirmation is greater than a hunger for bread. But what Facebook did was it created a, a piece of software with the internet that met this demand. We can see how powerful that is, and that's exactly what I do on college campuses. Very interesting and helpful, David. Thank you so much for Thank stopping you. by. Thanks, for Mary. more information on David and his book, go to our website, comonews.com, and click on Como for TV.